Good morning, folks. Well, I guess it's not morning for all of you. <laughs> it's morning for me. Good morning. Welcome back to Dave the Diver. Very exciting morning for me because for three whole days in a row, I've woken up at a relatively normal time without the aid of an alarm. The alarm is there, just in case, but I haven't had to use it. Might not seem like a big deal, but three days in a row is quite a long time for me, although it is starting to slip. Yesterday, I woke up at 5 a.m. Today, I woke up at 6.30 a.m. But still, as long as it's appropriate, it's appropriate. So, in the last video, we got the camera, and we got a bunch of new apps and stuff in general. We found the home of the sea people. Um, I think we're still really working on this eco-watcher thingamajiggy. There's a few things we need. We need some more starfish, we need some pink shells, we need some seaweed and sea grapes, we need a skull, we need to murder all the jellyfish and the triggerfish and the lionfish. Let's go do that. I don't think there's anything else particularly on the docket for this afternoon session. And then we'll go and uh, serve some sushi. Very exciting. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah, you see, we're getting quite far now in our um, our upgrades as well. Some of our orange starfish. You know, we've got a lot more, a lot more O2 as well. I can kind of chill a little bit more. We can carry a whole lot more stuff. It's 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 getting there. It's getting there. I'm very curious to see just how open and free we feel. And I got up on camera <laughs> when we get to like the end. You know, when we get to. Um, those final upgrades, because we've got a ways to go, probably. Okay, stop. This is, again, I want to reiterate, this is the problem with this, in that I don't want to, to ever have swapped to the basic rifle, but now it's become an option because I've upgraded my gun, or changed my gun. No, we need Kojima. I don't think we need any more of that. <laughs> if nothing else, it's just because I want to bump things and hear the beep, 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 little bonky noise. I'm not going to bother with any of these fish. So I have a nice car. I feel it's nice that I, I feel like I can actually, you know, kind of swim around and chill a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm feeling a lot less pressure by sort of default now if I swim around. Just because we've got so much O2 and because we tend to find more O2 by the end as well. I've got you already, right? I'm just going to double check that. Yeah. No, you're not, bud. <laughs> Lagoon Triggerfish. I thought we did. I just need to... How was that? <laughs> I just wanted a bloody... No. Uh, what if it's the net to do this? Calm down. One day I'll figure that out, folks. <laughs> One day. My, oh, you know what? I, you know what? I bet that is, or at least an option. It'll be um, the traps that we've seen. You know, not the traps, the bombs that you can lie around. That kind of makes a lot of sense, I think, for the more. Because I can't seem to harpoon it, even if I've got a electric tip, which I'm well known for. You know. Keep gathering resources. I'm not really looking to suck up on massive fish or anything here. We are just on a little jaunt. Warming up. I've only woke up about five minutes ago, so... <laughs> oh, hush tart level two. Nice. Don't mind if I do. I'll come to the cave because I know we need grapes. And the grapes are in the cave. Ah! Did we ever get an angler? Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Snappy son of it. There we go. We did, yeah. But hey, free saw one. Don't know if we had a free saw one. This is why the the hush thing is so good. Bonk, bonk. There's the grapes we need. Lovely, 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 lovely. I forgot that they give out to. Ah, I can't remember what they're called. The the like they are fish, but they um they resemble curious worms <laughs> more than anything else, you know. They are very entertaining, if slightly disconcerting. Which is a winning combination. Do I need you? Are you one of the jellyfish I needed? I don't think so. I'm going to double check. No, we, I think we needed the barrel jellyfish. I know the other one was the egg one. I wasn't sure if this was one of them as well. 
feeling very sleep. No, no, my jellyfish! My jellyfish! No! He's feeling very sleepy. I'm hoping eventually we get a way to, like, not worry about the current, you know? That would be nice. Oh, my jellyfish woke up, I'm pretty sure. It's not like they're hard to dodge. You have to chill a little bit. You have to be, you know, a little bit patient. Something I'm well known for. Okay, give me a minute. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> oh, my arms don't work anymore. I, I know I've been complaining that about that for the entire playthrough. Um, yesterday was my day off, workout-wise, so I didn't work out after um, the videos, the last video you saw, the last two videos you saw. I, I tend to record two a day for the series at the moment. Um, and then, I, I don't know what it was, I, I was kind of complaining my arms hurt, and then <laughs> the entire day they were in agony. I think I really pushed on my last push today. Ironically. Alrighty. I'm gonna get out of this cave because we're not gonna find the lionfish and stuff in here, I don't think. What have we got in here? Are you new? Uh, I, I do wish there was an easy way to tell. Because I, I, I don't I have to murder something to find out if it's new for me, you know? I know you're not new, but whatever. I've kind of committed now to slaughtering every animal in the area, so let's just stick with that. Mama don't raise no quid aid, you hear? Oh, it's interesting to think about as well, actually. How much longer the episodes are going to get relatively... No, no, the episodes are not going to get any longer, but because each dive is getting longer... Um... Because um, we survive a lot longer. Like this, this dive is, I think, probably the longest one we've ever had. This one we're doing right now. So, and th that's assumedly going to keep happening, right? That was never going to work. I wonder if that's an auto death. It looks like it's going to. It really does look like it's going to auto-kill me. It looks like I'm going to get absolutely skewered, you know? That was good. That was good. Can't really carry this, though. It might be time to leave. We did get a lot of stuff. I didn't really get as much as I wanted towards my various things. But we did get quite a lot of stuff. Ooh, level th that's the first level 3 I've ever seen. So grab some bonus fish for the way out. I'd love a longer harpoon as well. Well, <laughs> wouldn't everyone love a longer harpoon? <laughs> oh, no. Anyways, anyways, anyway, we don't need to make these jokes at 7 in the morning, okay? I'm just going to grab them until it says I'm not allowed to grab them anymore. <laughs> it's the Donald Trump philosophy towards fishing. Okay, there should be a um, exit thing down here. Yeah, I, I would like to get more of the lionfish and all that kind of jazz, but it's what it is. It's cool that O2 is no longer... I mean, obviously, there will be times where O2 is a big deal, but right now the O2 isn't the, the limiting factor. Which I think feels better. It's, a, it's again, the weight. Well, obviously, that's just because I'm catching random fish. We could have ignored plenty of fish and it wouldn't have been an issue. Wouldn't have been a fish you. I'm so sorry. That was my record for most fish. 
Most fillets of fish. 38. It's a lot of fillets of fish. Alright, let's get back to work. So at the moment we're trying to get to gold rating on Cookstar, and that's going to let us hire some more people, which would be very helpful. Oh, hello. VIP appeared, Vincent the Gourmet. Hello viewers, this is Yui from TV show Star the Chef. You, yeah, I mentioned at the very start of this game that um, the game's quite western in how it feels. I mean, this is obviously an Asian restaurant, and it's a sushi restaurant, which is obviously Asian inspired. Um, but you know, it's Dave the Diver, and he's quite a western looking lad and all this. But then you see the anime with the gun maker, and then Yui, and it's not just stuff, it's little things like um, the name of the TV show and stuff like that. You know, Star the Chef is not a TV show name you would get away with in the way. It doesn't translate perfectly into English, is what I'm saying. Today I've come to a seaside sushi bar that's all the rage on Cookstar. Bancho Sushi! In this sushi bar that's famous for exotic sushi, we have with, with us the legendary sushi expert, Vincent Yamaoka. Mm. <clears throat> I am Vincent Yamaoka. Hello Vincent, how would you define sushi? Sushi is a very simple dish. Only rice, vinegar, wasabi and the fish that goes on top. Everything hangs upon these ingredients, however. Simple does not mean easy. Listen, how good the ingredients are, how they were stored and aged, how they were cut, how the rice was cooked, how it was molded. Mm. All those things matter in the art of sushi. Yes. In that case, what do you think of the exotic sushi Bancho is famous for? Ingredients for sushi have long been similar. The king of fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. Below that, the olive flounder and amberjack with white and red meat. All verified ingredients, you understand. To dare to use new ingredients, despite many proven ones that existed from the Edo era. Regardless of the taste, this shows a lack of respect. Shut up, Vincent. You have once criticized California walls as not being real sushi. I'm curious to see what your opinion on Bancho sushi will be. Let's start by introducing the star of today's show. This is Yona Bancho. Uh, this is a bit sudden. I'm called Ban. He's quite reticent. and That can only mean he speaks through his cooking. Reticent, fantastic word. This sushi bar offers a fantastic view as it's near the giant blue hole and the chef sure gives off the vibes of master. Looking forward to how the food will taste, Vincent. What will you be trying? I'm not interested in the food of a place that's so focused on appearances. You there, Bancho, was it? Your name. Let me take a look at what you can do. Let me see. Bring me something to surprise me. Wow, Vincent F was a daring provocation. He left the menu for the chef to decide. Can't just sit by and listen to your prejudiced thinking. Give me two days, I'll be sure to shock you. A standoff before between a traditional gourmet and exotic chef. Things are getting interesting. We'll come to you live on the next episode. Don't forget to tune in next time to Star the Chef. So I've got two days to make something interesting for Vincent, who's a prick. <laughs> I hate people who like, like, I'm all for traditional recipes and traditional methodologies and, you know, things like the apple pie were probably perfected a hundred years ago, in my opinion. But when people get really weird about you daring to change an old recipe, that really annoys me. Like, who are you offending? Like, what, what, what's the issue? Like, there just isn't an issue that's nonsense. What are you thinking? What are you going to do? A man does not run from a challenge. I thought of something. We get me the ingredients. Any sea grapes and white spot? I think I have both of those already. Both from the limestone cave because I was just there. Going to make sushi with these. Okay, limestone cave. I've got to look for them. I'm pretty sure I've already got those. New content VIP. Sometimes VIP customer will order a dish that's not on the menu. Procure the ingredients by the designated date. Yeah, I thought I'd already done it. Okay. Right, menu today. Now I was having a little think about this. There's a um, there's a thing. Oh, this is new. This is this one of the new ones. I think I'm gonna. I, I'm using all my kelp and stuff. I need this for the research. I guess I don't need the um. Mm. That's gonna cost ten to enhance that. That's not happening. If I put, let me just put one on it. If I click this and then I go auto supply, I'm pretty sure that means, I don't know if that's what that means. I'm going to leave that at one and auto and we're doing a little test. What would auto supply mean? It has to mean. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. 
Why would you ever? No, it can't mean what I think it means. What does it? I don't know what auto supply means. Like, I understand what the words mean, but I don't know how they factor into this game. Um. I don't think the game has ever explained it either. Because in my head it would mean you can set it to one recipe, set it to auto supply, and then we just keep selling it. Like it would just keep supplying it again. And I don't see what else it could mean, but then why would you ever not use that? Like, the only reason to not do that is because you want to hold back for some reason, which I, I'm just gonna try it out. Let's try it with this one. I'm only gonna sell one of them. And if we end up selling 10, 12 Titan Triggerfish, then that's what we do, you know. I don't really want to sell the kelp. I can sell the olive oil. About 6, 12. I need about 20, usually. I'm going to upgrade this, I think. Twice? Yes, yeah, screw it. 11, 17, 18. We'll do for something else on. I'm going to do some upgrades as well. I'm not sure this is ever really a good idea, but it entertains me, so, <laughs> like, priorities in order. I'll do. I have no idea, folks. So is Vincent going to turn up, or do I need to make sure I've still got all the ingredients in a few days' time, potentially? That's the one thing I'm concerned about, that I don't want to use anything accidentally. The people need tea! much in it yeah god damn it it's harder than you would think if you're uh, trying to do it with any form of speed i love how you're either bad or you're perfect <laughs> that's never any in between the problem is getting it wrong on the very first one means that i'm now doomed to not get five stars like it's impossible selling i haven't seen the um the one that i want still i don't know has it sold the orange one right someone's ordered it someone has just ordered it this one here that is what it means i'm so confused by that that was a very negative noise i thought i'd messed up there Okay, well that was good. Look at our, we just made fifteen hundred. That is what it means. It just it just auto resupplies that. So it's just. I guess the idea is that you don't have control. So if you're trying to save that recipe for whatever reason, that's going to be problematic. But I mean, it's it, to me it seems like a good idea to always have at least one recipe doing that. I suppose. I don't really know, folks, but I don't see why you wouldn't use it all the time. <laughs> oh hello. It's the sea people. <laughs> oh no, the Kraken. I will cook you one day, Kraken. <laughs> one day. <coughs> oh, excuse me, folks. Yep, there's Dr. Bacon. Hmm, Dave. Yes, Dr. Bacon. Dave, yes. Do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? Good news. Ha, huh, you're the positive type. No, bad news first. I studied the bracelet you brought me yesterday. From the sea people, as expected. It's an ancient artifact. The bracelet seems imbued with a mysterious power. Here, you can wear this. Me, I'm grateful, but why? Ha, huh, who knows? Might be some frightening sea people curse on it. Yeah? <laughs> Any case, try it on first. Okay. Has mysterious energy that aids breathing. Survive for a certain period out of running out of oxygen. Oh, that's cool. Feel some kind of new power inside me. 
Glad to hear nothing bad happened to be able to check your diver box for more information about the charm you're wearing. Oh, more great news. Analyze the artifacts and investigation data, able to find a very strong signal in these ocean depths. This was the right place, the objects didn't just float there. I have a feeling the giant blue hole that suddenly appeared is serving as a conduit to a sea people site. Very lucky opportunity. Sounds like I have to risk my life again. So what's the bad news? In order to venture deep, you'll need a deep sea headlamp. Deliveries are stopped right now for some reason, so getting one is out of the question. Maybe Duff will have one, he has all sorts of things. Sure. That'll be... You remember that bit we tried to get into the depths and we weren't allowed in at the moment? So I'm assuming that's what we're looking for. And this is when the game would have told me how to equip the charms. I already have two of them at this point, but the game was going to explain it to me at least. Call Duff. Nara, why are you so angry, Duff? Ordered a limited edition Leah's Chan figurine. It hasn't come for over a week, would you believe it? It's got a serial number and a limited edition only art book. Oh, calm down a bit. Everyone seems upset with the deliveries having stopped. I think there must have been some kind of accident. See what's going on, I'll need the deep sea headlamp. Oh, well, of course I've got one in safe storage. Can't give it to you for free. There's a, well, if you want your anime figurine to do terrible, terrible things to, you're going to have to give me the headlamp. Please find my figurine. Ah, in a pink delivery box, you'll know when you see it. Not been rust away. Likely to be somewhere nearby. Find it for me, I'll give you the headlamp. Okay. Ah, I'll have to find the location of the sunken transport ship. Okay. Now, nah, that's using the sea grapes, which I do need, but we've got plenty of them still remaining. I've got 580. This is tons. So I want one. Okie dokie. Let's sell some nonsense. Uh, I'd like it if um, there's like a sell junk button. I don't know if any of this is. I'm keeping all that stuff. I'm just selling the, the balls, typically. And we're not super rich compared to sort of where we can be, but... We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. 30 to go. We might get that tonight. Probably tomorrow. Uh, we are going to hit up Eye Diver. What do I want more than anything else? It's either the cargo box or the harpoon gun. I'm not sure which. At some point, the cargo box stops making me money because... Uh, I really don't know what I want. <laughs> I probably the diving suit actually, because um, we're about to go deeper, aren't we? Into the depths. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Well, not yet. We're not, but we're about to when we get this this um, headlamp. So I'd like to be prepared for that mentally. How do I get you? Okay, let's try to find the shipwreck, I suppose. A bit of vinegar along the way. I'm still looking out for starfish, lionfish, various other fish. Let's keep it around. Just got some nonsense along the way. Who doesn't love nonsense? Got myself a bang stick. <laughs> That's what we call it. It's a very appropriate name. <laughs> Um, oh god, the humanity. I figure we'll just swim around blindly, idiotically, assumedly eventually find something. <laughs> it's the idea. as far east as we can first and then we can start working our way downwards I guess we'll start working our way downwards there's a trigger fish which we're looking for oh no level one rubbish we haven't found any new guns in a while I think we've got all the guns unlocked cheap Japanese sword probably not over the bang stick come here buddy 
that work? <laughs> that didn't work at all. <laughs> I really thought that was going to work fine. I thought that was going to be a one-hit thing. One down, four to go. Still need many lionfish and many other things in the meantime. So just you, my little buddy. Do we ten of these things? It's going to take ages. Oh, it's five. That's fine. That's not going to take ages at all. I love that I can catch those in one hit, though. What have we got here? No. Oh, orange starfish are probably the hardest thing to find. I have everything on my current list. Right, thanks, guys. Squirtle over me. Fantastic. So rude, the cuttlefish, honestly. Orange starfish, though. Don't mind if I do. It's my bloody Everest, I tell you. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Nobody's leading me to the starfish, though, which I appreciate. Like, we keep needing all these different... Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh, no, stop it. Come here. It's finally got the third skeleton we need. Hopefully. Assumingly, you get the, the piece you don't have every time, so this should be a skull. It's a foot bone. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Never mind. Take back what I said a second ago. around and hope that I find something. Oh, we've got another one. Come on, baby. You're good to me. I'll be good to you. How's that for a deal? Who wants to give me a skull? Why do you hate me so much? Been nothing but nice to you. I've got this O2 from over here. And then... Oh, wait. No. Oh, God. I'm lost. <laughs> wait, wait. Where's the O2? Is it up? You see what I mean in that we can we can keep going for a really long <laughs> No you well that's how you get poisoned. <laughs> Figured that out finally. I've been bumped by a puffer fish before, but we resisted it, but not so much this time. Pink seashell, lovely. Oh hello! That's a big shark. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tiger shark! Oh, and the ship. Slightly, slightly terrifying. <laughs> God damn. There we go. Big chunky poison harpoon did some work. Tiger. Oh my God, stop it. Yeah, very nice. 15 kilograms. What the heck? I want a tiger shark tooth. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. My precious Leah's Chan, bring it to me quick, finish your mission. The Kraken! <laughs> no, it stole the anime. <laughs> oh, what was that just now? My man Leah's Chan, she disappeared into the unfathomable depths. Seems to have been some kind of giant life form. Please go retrieve her. Well, that obviously looks dangerous. Besides, the doors and the ship are all locked, I can't go inside. You think I didn't think of that before concocting Leah's Chan's rescue plan? Provides you with my secret weapon, the gas cutter. Even at this moment, Leah Shanna waits her master. Come to the boat, will you? This guy is incorrigible. Fantastic word. I just want to try this out. I've never actually used... 
<laughs> Wait, look, there's tons of fish here. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty good way to get a ton of fish very quickly. Which isn't something I'm that worried about, but... Yeah. Very cool that we took down the tiger shark. I mean, not cool for the tiger shark, but... Cool for me. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade the weight first. Next. I, I, the diving suit was more like just in case. It turns out it wasn't necessary, but I don't think it was a bad idea. Oh, I think it'll be weight for the next one. And then the harpoon. Still having trouble calming down, just like Leah's Chan did when she first came face to face with Fenrir. The wolf of legend. Since you found the location, I'll reward you for it. I'd like to do honest dealings. Now then, let's begin the Leah's Chan rescue mission. Take this gas cutter. You'll see a spot that can be cut into when you reach the ship. There'll be a button prompt. <laughs> Cut the weak point. It reminds me of like uh, Metal Gear Solid where you're having like a totally legitimate conversation and the person will say, press the start button to access your menu and stuff like that. Retrieve the pink delivery box inside the ship. Should be simpler than you think. I saw a huge tentacle taking the ship. Looks extremely dangerous. You mean to say it's okay for Leah's chance to expire in the darkness down there? This mission must not be delayed for a moment longer. Ugh. All right, I get it. Oh, well, I'll try going down. Okay, look at that tiger meat. Yum, yum, yum. Thumbs up, Anch. What's my reward? <laughs> What's he selling today? Bombs, waterproof box. I really don't like the waterproof box. I'm going to grab this. It's so cheap that it makes sense, I think, to, to pick it up. Just have a an emergency. Just in case we don't find one, you know? I just want to keep grabbing these. I wonder if I can net the, uh, I doubt it. Oh, more salt. That's really good because we need it for the thing. Need some jellyfish. Need some lionfish. Need some triggerfish. Somewhere out there, there is a right-wing conservative commentator who's made a joke about the triggerfish. These bloody, you know, microbiology... <laughs> marine biologists so easily offended it's like they're a trigger fish it's not really a joke is it it never is i get really annoyed about like it's, it's like you want to be right wing left wing whatever i don't care that much i mean i care a little bit but i don't care that much you live your life right wing comedians i don't see how people survive it honestly like they're so obnoxiously unfunny almost on purpose every single right wing comedian or even the comedians who didn't seem right wing old comedians it's not even right wing it's old comedians it's always this joke about how you can't say anything anymore and everyone's so easily it's like ricky gervais goes on has like a netflix freaking special so let's be clear he's on netflix with a special he hasn't been cancelled or any stuff like this you know he's got a netflix special for the love of god even though he's a bit of a twat and and then he's all like, oh, I can't make any jokes these days. Oh, they're going to cancel me. They're going to cancel me. I'm like, you're hosting major awards and you've got a Netflix special. Why are you complaining about canceling? And they all do it. They all do it. As soon as they stop appealing to everyone, the, the grift becomes so obvious and people just fall for it. It blows my mind that people fall for it. As soon as someone starts talking about... As soon as people start talking about cancel culture and stuff like that, I just assume you're a freaking idiot and I don't want to talk to you anymore. It's just the way it is, I'm sorry. It's just it's just it's a made up boogeyman. And I personally prefer to not be scared of things that don't exist. I complain constantly about things that don't exist. I need more pink seashells. No, it's just in my mind. I don't even know why it's on my mind. Ooh, level three triple axel. Yeah, sure. I don't remember where this bow is, by the way. I was assuming the game was going to, like, point me in the right direction. It was definitely further to the right. Because we came over, we did that little weird bit. I mean, I'm assuming, given how you described it, that the, the layout should be the same, right? Or do I just have to find it again in a whole new map? I don't know. I should have taken a note of the depth that the boat was at. In retrospect. Actually, I definitely should have taken a note. <laughs> that would have been by far the smarter thing to do. 
Which is which is why I didn't do it, obviously. So I think this is too deep. Although no, we saw oh god. Yeah, this is this has to be too deep. Doesn't it? what you get, son. Look, I would have left you alone. You came to murder me. <laughs> we could have been friends. We could have been lovers. Am I ever going to find this boat? <laughs> not sure about that. Turmeric. I really just don't remember how deep it was. Maybe it's deeper than I thought. I don't think I'm going to get down now. I can't get down there. I'm not had to use lead ore for anything, but I'm assuming at some point there is a world coming where the lead ore is going to be required, and I would like to be prepared for this world. Um. Okay. So it has to be... Let me go up into the east first. I really didn't try to murder you there, buddy. You kind of just got in the way. Level 4 triple axle. Okay, now I remember coming here. I remember coming by this. So we must have gone left at this point. So I don't think we can go right, so... You know what? I'm really glad I bought that extra O2 canister, because we're going to need it. Um... Where did we go from here? You guys are everywhere today. Not bad. If you just want to murder something, the triple axle is pretty great. Um, obviously, I prefer the tranquilizer guns and stuff like that because we want higher quality. Fish. Where the heck is this bow? It's down here, I think. Is it down here on the right? It's getting deeper and deeper. Where's the bow? I'll go down here, can I? No, okay, I think it's down at this approximate depth, but on the other side. On the on the other side of this rock wall here on the left. I think that's where it is. If it's not there, I don't know where it is, and I'm lost and I'm scared and confused and alone. Much like every day of my life. Ooh. Hey, get some seashells. Oh, yeah, there's the shark. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, look. <laughs> He's prioritized a little bit here, Dave. Turn on the cutter, use left trigger to move. Not sure, left uh, wiggly wop. Keep your movements inside the circle. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. It's like um, <laughs> one of those games where you have the, the wire and the little circle thing and you have to... Easy does it, Dave. Easy does it, buddy. You and me, pal. We got this. I'd love if this game was like third person or something instead, you know. That might sound like a bit daft, I don't, I don't think it would work, but like an equivalent to this game. Like we need a proper, it's been so long since we had like a really good deep sea diving game. Like since Endless Ocean. I mean, we got, um, what was that one called? I played it on the Best of Slot channel. I remember we were deep sea diving in that. I don't remember what it's called though. Oh, it's too much in a hurry to probably tell you to use it, figure it out, going through the open door. 
Let me get some shark. Event will proceed that will end with you returning to the boat. Okay, that's that's fine. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up all this heavy stuff if I'm gonna get attacked by the bloody kraken. <laughs> Huh? The space below seems larger than expected. Take a look around, Dave. Yeah, I really shouldn't have picked up. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still, oh, yeah. Wow, I really made a mistake here. Okay. Yeah, just in case. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Who needs to move fast just because there's a cracking about? I've got meat to carry, goddammit. <laughs> got my priorities in order. Hear something rumbling in the depths. You do move a lot slower. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have kept that just in case. Oh God. Hello. <laughs> There it is, the pink delivery box with Leah's chat inside. Wait, more importantly, look at the giant squid. That's our culprit. I guess it knows a good thing when it sees it, even if it's just a squid. Seems to be asleep. <laughs> Come too far to go back empty-handed. Guess I'll try approaching quite okay. What can possibly go wrong? Oh, look, it went wrong. <laughs> okay. Just here for the anime figure, okay? Oh. Uh, it's awake, I need to get back. Dave, don't tell me you're going to chicken out. Use the gun I gave you. The harpoon will be of no use. Yes, Chan, here we come. I might have to, I might, I might drop some weight here. Uh, I don't want to. It makes me sad. I've got 20 fillets of that. I've got five. I'm going to drop this. And then just something else. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm back up at um, maximum speed. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I think it is a case of get to there alive, shoot it in the face. I think that's the idea. Probably three times if I know video games. And I do know video games. I've got to admit, when I first started playing this game, I did not expect full-on boss fights to occur, you know? That wasn't that wasn't on my list. Swim, Dave, swim, it's coming! There we go, good, good job. Oh, look at that. Three times. <laughs> oh, it's a mer person. Looking a little bedraggled. <laughs> Wait, were there sea people just now? What do you mean? All I can see is a pink delivery box. Bring it back quickly. It's a waiting rescue. Tell him it won't do any good. I'll have to go tell Dr. Bacon. Dr. Bacon. Hmm, the box is pinned under a squint tentacle. I'll have to cut it anyway. I wonder if it's edible. Oh, cool. Don't mind if I do. That's one. Come back up to the boat. So relieved. Leah Shan. Probably pronouncing that name horribly. You know what? That's what she bloody gets. <laughs> I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I never will. But it's fine. I don't judge. You know, people can enjoy what they want to enjoy. 
I think she hasn't been damaged. Oh, there's salt water everywhere. I'll clean you up. Here comes Leah's. Whoops, I said Leah's chance lying by accident. Though I'm the master. <laughs> In any case, a promise is a promise. The deep sea headlamp. Recent model turns on automatically as necessary. Must go help Leah Shan recover. Goodbye, eternity. 500 gold, 5 black vinegar, 5 salt. And more importantly, a soul has been saved. Guess that's over for now. Come to think of it, I did bring this. What will I do with this giant squid tentacle? It smells awful. I'm not sure it can be used to cook with. I have to give Bancho a call. There we go. Longest dive we've ever done. Nearly 11 minutes. Oh, my poor shark. What is it, Dave? I was helping Duff and I defeated a giant squid. That's incredible. Couldn't bring the whole thing. I caught off a bit of tentacle. Is this edible? Hmm, of course. The ammonium chloride that helps it float gives it an awful stench. Because it's very tough. Difficult to cook using conventional methods. Don't think we'll be able to offer it to our customers anyway. Why don't we close up shop for the day and hold a party with the squid? Been so busy since we opened that I haven't treated you to any proper food despite your hard work. Sounds fantastic. Let me clean up for a bit. Come to the sushi bar when you're ready. Dr. Bacon will be there as well. I can tell him about the fish people. Sure. Have a little bit of a party. Hopefully this doesn't skip my, my evening. <laughs> oh, Yoshi's here. And the cat. I oh, don't know what the cat's called. Dave, you're a bit late. Everyone's been waiting for you. Wow, you finished all the cooking already. When did everyone arrive, though? The whole gang's here. Yoshi. A party with customers. Been a lot of progress. Very good. Has it? Restaurants should put their customers first. Food, drinks, services, and customers are the basic foundations of a restaurant. In the past, there's only a rigorous chef and his cooking. Um, I was also here from the beginning. Yes, but you weren't very noticeable. You remember what I told you back then about the reviews on Cookster? You said there wasn't any real mention of me. Now people do mention you, albeit rarely. They see things like, he poured me hot green tea. He was working hard preparing the wasabi. He was friendly. He looked busy. Oh. Customers are recognizing your hard work, and that makes me feel good. Customers are honest and intuitive, more so than you think. They know if you're sincere, kind, diligent, or skilled, and they react accordingly. That's why I find this moment hard to believe. They think that obstinate pancho working with people and holding parties. It's thanks to you, Dave. Makes me wonder what it's like in the past. Can't divulge details about someone else's past, but maybe someday if the opportunity presents itself, I'm able to tell you. Wahaha, Dave, congratulations. I talk so much more than I thought I would have to in this playthrough. Word of Bancho Sushi is getting around. He looks to be in a very good mood. Look at this squid tentacle. It's the sort of thing you dream of eating as a child. Is it? I'll bet more people flock here if such things are offered on the menu. I do like squid. Okay, well, the idea of like squid if the tentacle was thick as anything. Because squid's quite chewy. Even if you cook it perfectly, it's got like a little bit of that to it. Oh, we eating this because it's difficult to serve the customers, though. Yeah. You're right. What a pity. Everyone wants to try something that looks like this, regardless of the flavor. Regardless of the flavor, you say. No way Bancho could stomach that. Let's go with something else. All right. About the depths. I have a feeling there must be things down there. Things that'll make people jump out of their seats. If Dr. Bacon's research is successful, this place will be famous and filled with people. Hmm, you're right. When that happens, we'll make tons of money. Let's keep at it, Dave. Let's get rich together. Dr. Bacon. Oh, Dave, what is it? I saw the sea people down below. You what? <laughs> you really saw sea people, not dugongs? What did they look like? Were they dressed? Do they resemble humans? Of course, famously, dugongs were sexually fantasized about <laughs> by sailors, and that's where people think mermaids came from. Torso looks like a roam, but the sight of me scared them off into the depths. I couldn't get a good look. Too bad. Could have been an amazing find. Might encounter them in the depths. That's where the signal is strongest. Perhaps there's even a village. A village? Yes, they have artifacts, murals, a language. They are beings with unique civilization. It would not be surprising in the least for them to live together in a village of sorts. That would be quite the find indeed. Ancient civilization under the sea could be revealed to us. Dave, you're my best hope. Keep up the good work. A giant squid tentacle. It really is an ingredient that's difficult to handle. Suppressing the stench should allow me to reach its essence. Still studying the ingredients. Good work today, bringing back precious ingredients. Difficult sort to prepare, but that's part of the fun of cooking. How does it taste? Food's always been great, but today's is even more spectacular. Since there was a lot of it, I made many different dishes, though we won't be able to offer these to customers. Seems to be no end to the path of the chef. Fortunate thing to have a path to pursue. Same can be said of the study of ingredients, Dave. Please keep persevering and one day we'll succeed. 
I'm not sure what you mean, but sure, I'll bring back more fish. Pick up beer. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Bunch of food is nice. I can't understand the growing popularity of the restaurant. Maybe it's because I caught the fish. In any case, lots of going gone. Giant squid, sea people. No end to the mysteries of the ocean, even if it's dangerous. I suppose I'll go even deeper tomorrow. Wonder what I'll find. Eh, whatever. <laughs> That's tomorrow me's problem. Time to toast with everyone and rest. A toast to the sea. I don't think Yoshi drinks. Oh no. What? It's got a grenade launcher. Eco terrorism. God, it skipped it skipped my day. All that money wasted. Good morning. Must have drank too much yesterday. I feel sick. You seem a bit excited. Heh, you don't get gatherings like that every day. That sort of occasion calls for jovial, jovial, jovi, joviality. 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 Not a word I think I've ever said out loud. I've said jovial plenty of times. Well, not plenty of times. Every now and again. Heck. Can't throw up here, Dr. Bacon. Ugh, not the drunk I used to be. In any case, take the deep sea headlamp Duff gave you and try venturing down to the depths. Probably turn on automatically when you reach your depth. Don't forget you'll have to enhance your diving suit if you want to venture into the depths. Do you happen to have scuba blah? <laughs> yeah, I've already done that. I'm prepped and ready. Thanks, Dr. Back on. Ask me to enter the water after that. Chapter two. Cool. What you got for sale today? Increases maximum oxygen capacity by... Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Good for a day like today, you know? What do I do with this tooth? Ah, oh, weapon enhancement. Okay, so weapon enhancement is a thing. Um, I guess we've been seeing that for a while and I've not been... I don't know how you enhance your weapons, but it is a thing. So that's important. Um, how are we doing on Cookster? Hey, bustling party. I think Yoshi's got a bit of a crush on Bancho. How are we doing on this? Only 58, but I'm missing tons in the shallows. All of these are in the shallow. That can't be, like, they, they can't be. They just can't be. I've explored the shallows entirely. There's no way all of these are found in the shallows. There's just no way. So there's something I'm missing. I'm not sure what though. I, th I feel like I've seen, I've got caught everything I can catch. Well, I said this one, this one I can probably get, whatever it is. We're looking for a small fish between zero to 50 meters. I'd have to take some photos of the shapes. Okay, uh, do we don't really have any money, do we? Nope. I mean, we've got to be fine at 375, I've got to imagine. I've only found the rest sniper fire for once. I'm just trying to like kill time because I don't want to do a dive this late into the video. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. I can retake it, that's cool. Oh, did I not get any? I guess not. One more pink shell. One more pink shell. Still find I've not been finding seaweed in ages. Still can't find that bloody skull. Uh, not found any jellyfish and ages in that we're working. Okay. Oh, got my arms. Right, we'll end it there. Next video, then, we will go diving into the deep depths for the very first time. Very exciting. And then it's a VIP day as well. So lots happening in the next video. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks then. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.